Welcome back to this week's training vlog. Before I get going with this one, I just want to say a sincere thank you to everyone who left an algorithm comment. An algorithm comment. Fucking hell. Uh, it does make a big difference to us in YouTube videos, especially the sooner you make them, the better it is for the YouTube algorithm, or so it appears. Uh, so it means a lot to us. Uh, it means a lot to people who care enough that they want to see us do a little bit better. So any amount of those comments make a big difference, and there was a lot of them last week, and we really sincerely appreciate it. And I just want to say the funniest one was by far the Al Gore comment, so whoever made that, uh, I'll put it up there. That was definitely the best one. So enjoy today's, or this week's training vlog even. All right, so here is this week's training vlog so i think i have so i have three days in here so basically i have a monday tuesday and a wednesday so you can see how it fits together because a lot of people mentioned last week that they kind of they enjoyed seeing how how each day kind of would flow into another and found a little bit more informative so this so there's monday tuesday and wednesday here and basically with these i had trained saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday so on the monday you know i kind of mentioned last week that i was doing kind of a snatch day snatch clean jerk day Alternative day, snatch clean jerk day, alternative day, snatch clean jerk day, and then like another alternative day, and then a rest day. So we basically three kind of main big weightlifting days, and then um, two to three, depending on the week goes, kind of alternative less important days, which might have either the squats by themselves with a little bit of power snatch or something, as you'll see in a minute, or they will have just some alternative, you know, kind of accessory movements in terms of weightlifting. So this day and the first day. I am doing snatch plus low hang snatch and uh, going for one plus two I think but I just did one plus one on the warm-up series 110 I uh, did feel quite solid a lot of overhead work I'm doing at the moment and it's definitely helping really stuff in my morning obligations if you listen to it a bit far Suarez podcast uh, it's very useful 15 20 minutes in the mornings handstand holes dumbbell overhead walks uh, Turkish get-ups real good stuff it's definitely Improving the lock a little bit, adding a little bit more snatch grip, strict press as you'll see in the next training session after this. So basically it worked up to 120, 1 plus 2, so as I said I reset the weights and kind of went back a little bit and working up again. So these were quite solid, very happy with these. Hangs were good, nice and solid overhead. A little bit loose but not too bad. Um, so pretty happy at that, nice foot movement. So then moved on to clean and jerks. So today, that day was 2 plus 1, so I'm still really trying to emphasize that bar better bar pat basically overall especially in the first half of the bar pat and the second third part by doing the kind of low hang power cleans which i got as well luckily so i can't exactly remember how i was feeling these jerk is feeling good though as part of the overhead work of course is helping an awful lot but uh, stronger legs obviously make a big difference to a powerful split jerk and the lifts in general which is my goal so lots of squats cleans were okay they're getting a little bit better as i kind of went through the sets so I was really trying to focus on pulling it backwards and having a tighter bar pad, so not much, so much over pull. Um, as well, I don't know if some of you've noticed, so happy those jerks. But if you see my left side in the rack position, I've gotten kind of, I had a bigger gap recently and doing that kind of morning stability slash mobility work has kind of paid dividends in getting rid of that. Um, there's an argument to say that it did make a difference and you could say that it made no difference to my, I didn't have any pain in my shoulders and you could, uh, very likely nothing would have happened. But for me, just aesthetically, I just wanted to get rid of it was one of the main things. It might have been an issue. I do lean slightly more on my right leg in the dip and drive, and that could have been the cause of it, or that could be entirely unrelated, or it could have all be unrelated, which probably is the case. But I still want to get rid of it because I like to have aesthetically pleasing lifts in general. So 2 plus 1, I think I did 3 sets of 120 just to kind of uh, find the right kind of movement and really ingrain what needs to be done. So... Sometimes I get a little bit neurotic with my lifts, especially on certain days. Mostly on days when it's not going well, which is kind of counterproductive, but I'll just keep doing something until it feels better. Um, it's not always a good idea. Sometimes you're just in kind of shitty volume that's getting not productive with poor motor habits. However, this day was fine. So, worked up to 135. Two sets. Uh, yeah, second team is nice. Nice little rattle in the bar, kind of meeting it well, and sending up pretty solid. Jerk dip is okay. Uh, knees are a little bit achy at the moment uh, more than a little bit achy but uh, I'm trying to address that so I'll keep training as is uh, unfortunately that is the name of the game of weightlifting so there's the second set it's a little bit cleaner trying to get them promptly done I hate when people do doubles and stuff and have like up to a minute before they even get to the second uh, the cleaner the next jerk like if you great jerk there actually just as just as we're watching but you know when people um, sorry 
I'll just explain this and I'll get back to my double story rant in a second. Great lighting on my tricep. But here's what I'm trying to show you for the pull pass. So I'm really trying to show you. So these are just pulls up on 70. And I'm really trying to move that bar back towards me off the floor. So this might be a little bit more emphasized on my clean pulls. And it wouldn't, fail, for example, be on the list on the floor. But it's a good way of kind of over emphasizing something. Trying to learn it better. So fabulous lighting from the heater in the background. Triceps looking thick. Just from the front. I think I just did a single with this. So straight back towards me is what I'm trying to do as much as possible. So when you back to the rant, I hate when people take, you know, like a minute between their doubles, you know, like chalk up their hands, readjust their belt, have a conversation with someone, then get back to the double, no time for it, as little time as possible. There's an argument for like cluster sets working and stuff, but don't call it a double if you're doing a cluster set. Uh, that doesn't matter though, obviously, just me ranting. So this is the second day, wearing my Seeker Strength blue, crew neck which are obviously all sold out because they haven't got any stock in in about 10 months but we're working on it uh, the lockdown has proved an obstacle to that but so this is kind of the in-between day so i was mentioning not doing a lot of full lifts so here's me doing no contact muscle snatch um i'm a fan of either to be honest i i am happy to give people more often than not no contact is better but sometimes beginners actually do a little bit better with using contact in the muscle snatch so Usually what it's used for, for what I'm using, for example, is a day where I'm still doing a little bit of weightlifting. So I'm not just totally forgetting it, as you heard me mention last week. But I'm also doing it as a way of kind of practicing movement, emphasizing a little bit of a straighter third pull and a little bit more aggressive with my arms. Not that I have a problem doing, but it's always good to kind of overemphasize things. Pause to the knees, just kind of emphasizing that backwards bar position a little bit too in the snatch. It's uh, much better my snatch, but it could always be a lot better too. So some from a hang then. And then just one strict press and one overhead squat because it pays to keep up with these. But when beginners oftentimes will have an issue with kind of directing the barbell with their hips. And a lot of times, not all the time, but sometimes it does pay to let the beginners make contact in the muscle snatch. So you can have a bit more of a, a vertical bar pat. You actually get kind of, um, you get hammered a lot more if you have a shitter bar pat in the muscle snatch as a beginner when you make contact. So if you swing the bar too much, it'll become a lot more obvious and you'll be uh, reprimanded much faster by the barbell. So it does help sometimes to let beginners actually make contact so you can get used to that kind of vertical hip drive and not smash the bar forward so much. And then for advanced lifters, don't really need to practice that. So it does help to pay to kind of overemphasize, overemphasize the kind of second and third pull with the no contact muscle snatch. Not too heavy, but it does pay a little bit. So these are the low hangs I was telling you about. I've actually modified them on this day. So instead of just saying above the knee, I am going below the knee and kind of keeping a straighter knee angle or closer to what it would be in the full clean. It is a lot harder. I actually was kind of hoping to do pauses, but it did not work out that way because you think you're pausing for like three seconds. And in reality, you're not pausing at all. So I gave up on that. So I worked up. So originally what I was going to do, I was not feeling too hot tonight. So I was originally just going to do a few sets of 90 kilos do my squats and then leave it there but i did a good few triples at 90 kilos was feeling not too bad so i worked up to 110 for a double these were quite good could be better a triple but it can always be better so i worked up to 120 then for two sets of two the only reason i did two sets of two again was this kind of neurotic behavior i've mentioned where <laughs> the first set was not as good as i would have liked so i repeated it it does pay off sometimes, stuff like this is not a big deal. So, just a little bit soft at the feet, a little bit sloppy with them. Second one, a little bit too wide, not so bad, so I repeated it. It didn't feel heavy, just the position is a little bit harder for me. You can't do as much heaving or kind of touch and go with these. Well, I can't anyway. So a little bit better, a little bit less starfishy. So that was a lot better, I was a lot happier the second set. So then moving on to the squats, so... I'd squat it on... Sunday I did front squats, pause front squats, and I had back squat in a few days. Uh, knees are annoyingly achy at the moment, um, just part and parcel of the weightlifting, different things come up, something's always hurting, so I'm just trying to address it at the moment. Um, it could be that it's just like minus three most nights in the shed and it's not helping my knees, but that's no complaint. So I worked up to 120 by 8, then I did 180 by 5. So you can see these are not so smooth, but that's the reality of weightlifting, I suppose. You know, that kind of, you know, when people talk about, oh, you know, people never show their misses on Instagram. And I'll be honest with you, I never want to see people miss. I don't want to see shit lifts. I want to see super hot. I want to see on the ball, 
really sharp, easy lifts that are in excess of our record. I want to see people after tits. I don't want to see people missing 100 kilo snatches. Um, I can just look back at my own videos and do that, but I don't want to see other people doing it. So here's 200 for a set of five. Actually, wasn't too bad. So oh, I was just kind of trying to keep a bit more external rotation, which is something I don't normally do, but just to keep a little bit of pressure off my knees, a little bit less forward, I suppose. Uh, the last rip was a little bit icky. It's probably my own fault, realistically, but hopefully we can address it. So that was the day two. Moving on to day three. So this is my fifth day in a row. Uh, lots of snatching, a lot more snatch clean jerks. My body's been used to it for the last few weeks. It's not a concern though, it's just something you get used to. So it's no problem to fall out of favor with these things. And then you get back used to them. So they come back eventually. So I was a little bit, f so the bar wasn't too, it didn't feel too slow. But the farm felt a little bit heavy, as such as I would say. So it just wasn't that hot. So I was a little bit fatigued from, obviously, all the squatting and training multiple days in a row. So I decided to do a few singles rather than trying to kill myself to do what I kind of hoped to do. So it was probably some doubles or triples. So these yeah, was not great. It was no bueno. Got these sweet Puma pants, though, from Puma U. If anyone's looking for them, they're like football knit pants. So did another single at 120. Not so bad. A little bit forward as it passes my knee, and then here we third single. I think it's a little bit better. They don't look as good to this angle, I'm not gonna lie, they look better from my phone angle. So, there's me told. Okay, so that was a little bit better. Not so, a little bit short of the extension, a little bit leany backy, a little bit jumpy backy. Not great. So, hang on, I did four. That was a little bit better, actually. Four singles to 120. Madness. I'm out of control. So then two singles to 130, just because there was no way in hell I wanted to leave myself doing a day where I did a few singles at 120. So I did two at 130. Again, like what, two weeks ago I tripled 135, three weeks ago. So as anyone who knows who watches, who does weightlifting, they all dims are the rolls of the dice. So it does a little bit better actually than the 120s. Sometimes you get a little bit better positions at heavier weights. It's a terrible excuse to only hit when I lift this hit. They're like, no, no, it feels better when I can do it with a bit of weight, but you should be able to do it with any kind of weight. So, um, slap myself in the wrist. So that was 30 wasn't too bad. You can see I jumped back a small bit there. That's because it was a little bit forward at my knee and then a little bit short with the full extension. So then moved on to clean jerks, some singles. These were decent, uh, quite decent. Jerk looks very happy with the jerk at the moment. Partly because obviously my legs are stronger than they would have been in, in recent weeks, but also because that improvements in the work and the overhead stability does help aesthetically and in stability more importantly. So when the bar transfers to overhead, so it's very, very solid. So I'm happy with that. So 120 here. Decent cleans. Happy enough with the bar pad. Nice jerk. Uh, I much more. I much prefer the Nike twos, the volts when they're kind of dirty. They're not nice when they're like shiny and yellow. Uh, it's much better when they've a bit of grit in them. So solid clean, not so. Could have had a bit of a sec longer second pull. Solid jerk though. So one thing is a problem as well is I have a habit of rushing from my second to my third pull. So rushing through those movements. So I need to elongate a little bit of of my second pull. It will pay off my lifts. Nice jerk. 140. That clean is actually better than 135. So turnover could be a lot better as well, but I think that will increase as I focus on it, hopefully as well. But also because the stronger and the better I get at that kind of typical S curve bar pat, I should improve everything. 145, solid, decent. Met the bar quite well. Good jerk. Okay, so then I actually haven't cleaned jerk 150 in. So here's 150. So that clean was actually probably the best of a lot of them. I haven't cleaned jerk 150 in weeks at this stage. Technically, it was last year. Um, probably like last September. So as I mentioned, a load of shit. I'm not going to bore you with that again. But I haven't done 150 in a while, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, I know my max is 190, but you got to go with what feels heavy at the time. Here's my thirst trap angles of uh, my stiff legged deadlifts at 150 kilos. Um, pretty happy how my lower back is feeling there. So, hurt my hamstring last time when I did the 90 kilos, so I just jumped straight to 150 in no warm ups, and I'm sure that will keep my, my hamstring from hurting again. So, I just did like two sets of three with these, maybe three sets of three. 
uh, just emphasizing hamstrings. This should help my bar pad a little bit. This might not necessarily help yours, but it works for me. So just work on your weaknesses. Thanks for watching and I appreciate everyone.